Alfrecht Mälchen Grossasbach. Not exactly the most elegant sounding of names for a go-fast car company, but when you're thinking hot rod and Mercedes in the same sentence, you're not going to beat this 46-year-old concern. Well, with the help of an old neighbor, it's time we revise our thinking on A and G. So what's the story? You left me. You we know, were neighbors. We, we were neighbors. I know. I, I, I felt bad. You felt bad? I felt Who bad. Is I, 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 you know, uh, Florida was beckoning. I had a project there, yeah. condo, that needed needed some attention. Something about Rolex, Daytona, something like well, that? Well, th that's a nice uh, side effect, is the fact that my commute uh, from the Rolex was 25 minutes to my home bed. So, that's crazy. Uh, and then speed weeks for the NASCAR race, super motocross, all that stuff, I'll be, yeah. I'll be in the neighborhood. So, uh, SLS GT, I mean, it's, we, we already had 500, what, 563 Six, horsepower. Yep. So, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I... When I heard there were 20 more, I had no complaints before, but you'll never yeah. hear a driver say, I, I don't want more. So 580 horsepower. The, the big news for me is the, uh, is the tranny. You know, the, the, the software upgrade, the shifts are just way quicker, way more positive. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I do spend all my time in manual on the racetrack. Uh, I was doing some instructing, so I had a radio and I had an S plus. It's amazing how well it intuits what you want. If you start braking hard, it downships going into the corner rather than waiting for you to kick down like okay. most automatics. I know we've discussed this. I'm not an automatic transmission fan, but I got to tell you, if you're going to do an automatic in a car like this, man, this thing, this thing really bites. It uh, it shifts when you need it to shift. And you feel them. It's not like they're unperceptible, and you don't want them unperceptible. You don't want to be like a Lexus, where it's very smooth to the point where you don't know what's going on. You want to feel that the gears are engaging. Oh, this is an awesome drive. I've always loved Willow Springs, and then it's just uh, Ralph said it. It's a skate park for cars. You know, just in general, just the a lot of people. This car, they don't think of. AMG in the super sports car, or Mercedes for that matter, in the super sports car realm. And so yeah. a lot of people, when they ride with me, my car is all done up like a race tax in stripes and cage, and they say, how is this car modified? I'm like, this is stock. It's how nimble this thing feels. It's intimidating to look at because it looks like a big car, but it doesn't drive like that at all. And I'm turning in and it just goes. It's very flat and cornering, but you can definitely tell the power will kill you if you don't know how to drive it. TK spent a lot of time talking about smoothness and making sure you leave some computing power over in your brain, otherwise known to Pacioni as change in your pocket. The engine, the highest thing of mass in this car is the top of the cylinder head and it's right here. Yeah. Even though the engine, it's shoved so far back, it's a true mid-engine, but even though the engine's in front of the driver, 53% of the weight is over the rear axle. So this is more of like a mid-engine car. It's a full mid-engine car. It's just the, uh, it's in front of the driver, but the front of the engine is well behind the front axle. Okay. And so, you know, weight distribution, keeping the weight low, I mean, it, it rides extremely flat, even compared to like the Black Series, which is a really aggressive car. Yeah. Rides flatter than that, um, puts the power down. Now that the, sh the paddle shifts are that much crisper, it really is, it's, I think it's one of those cars, you gotta kind of convert people one at a time. You've gotta get them in the car, let them hear the thing rev to 7200 paddle shift and so forth, uh, and it's just going to take a while. It might even take a couple generations for people to think of uh, these cars in a, in a different way. I just can't help but feeling that this car is somewhat of a dual personality. When you look at it, you expect it to drive a certain way. Big, heavy, uncontrollable. I mean, after all, it's got a big, long hood, but in reality, you get behind the wheel, it corners very flat, it's very manageable, it almost feels like a very small car. I mean, no Lotus Elise, but damn, it does not feel like a big Mercedes. It's almost like talking to a girl from across the room, which is really hot, and you're nervous, and you forget all the things you're normally going to say, your normal self, and you go up there, and all that comes out is, bah, bah, uh, hi, my name is Beavis, um, uh, hi, uh, I like TV. I know we're here to drive the SLS GT, but I can't let the day go by without talking about this. This is a station wagon, an estate car. My father used to call them pig fair cars. That has a satin finished paint job, uh, three rows of seats, a panoramic sunroof, and most importantly, 550 horsepower. This is the E63 AMG Estate. 
Now, this is the uprated model, the P30 package that has 550 horsepower and 531 pound-feet of torque. The base car has only 518 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. But here's what's going to change. Next year, we're no longer going to have the base car with 518 horsepower. The base car is going to be 550 horsepower. Then, a year after that, the 2014 car, if you're paying attention, will be the E63 AMG S. But here's the point. You can have your pig fair car with 577 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. That is what you need to take home to the missus. You know, you drive something like this and then all of a sudden you start to realize you do need a 570 horsepower station wagon that goes 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. Gebaut by Kevin Bulbeck. Yeah! Man oh man, you can carry some speed going into this thing. You're going to have to move forward. The highest performance cars on earth have been paddle shifts for a long time. Uh, Formula One cars. Are you saying I'm old fashioned? I'm, you're, you're a throwback, and there's nothing wrong with that. Wow. It's, uh, you know, hurts. do you still, do you, do you have a typewriter? Uh, you... As a matter of fact, I do. You know, let's see, type there and go yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, and I don't do Facebook either. Yeah? I don't have any Facebook account, none of that crap. You're old school, or are you MySpace? Uh, 